Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, it's not often that I get to deliver not one, but two pieces of good news. And that's what we are going to be able to do today. But more importantly, we're going to try to see if we can connect the dots between these two pieces of good news and also put to test a theory about how society does or does not work. And so let's help out a couple of publications, one in particular that was not able to connect the dots. Maybe we can do the job for them. So today, let's spend a few minutes and talk about, is it true that an armed society is a polite society? Okay, so the stories that we are talking about today, one comes from The Atlantic, I think we can all agree, not a particularly pro Second Amendment publication, which tells us that in really, really good news, for the first half of 2023, murder rates across the United States are down and down in a huge way. They are down 12% nationwide. And in some of our more problematic cities, they are down 20%, in some cases, even as much as 30%. Now, the interesting thing about the article in The Atlantic, which was multiple pages in length and cited multiple people interviewed for it about what could have possibly led to this very promising trend in a downward spiral in murder numbers across the country. And there were many, many speculations, many of which focused on the refunding of police departments. I know, shockingly, when you take cops off the street, suddenly crime goes up. Who would have ever thought that that would have happened? However, in all of the theories that was discussed in the article by The Atlantic, and we'll put a link for it down below so that you can see, you will see that nobody ever mentioned that it might have to do with all of the new gun control laws that have been passed around the country. Why is that? Well, perhaps it's because those laws actually aren't designed to save lives, okay? So that's the story we're gonna talk about in the Atlantic. Then there's this story, it's floated around on a lot of places that you may be familiar with. This one's gonna come from guns.com, and like I say, there were other websites that published this as well, which is according to the National Shooting Sports Foundation, for the 47th month in a row, there was over 1 million firearms sales in the United States. So that is 47 months in a row of at least a million firearms being lawfully sold to lawful and responsible gun owners nationwide. Now, it was author Robert Heinlein that coined the phrase, an armed society is a polite society. And I do believe that to be the case. There is something Obviously, I doubt that this is just some kind of an anomaly. There is something underway here, and this is a positive thing, where murder numbers are on the decrease nationwide. But is it a coincidence that while violent crime, especially homicide rates, continue to fall, it is also contemporaneous as Americans have decided and realized that they and they alone are responsible for their own well-being and safety? Is it any wonder that we have now seen almost four straight years of firearm sales exceeding 1 million per month? And let us also remember, and there has been publication after publication after publication that have stated this, that the largest and fastest growing groups of first-time gun buyers are those in the marginalized communities. It's African Americans, it's LGBTQ members, it's women. It's abuse survivors. It's all of these groups. They have finally had enough. And even though mainstream media and politicians have been telling people for years and years and years, you do not need guns, we can take care of you. When the collective crap hits the fan, it appears that the American people can figure it out for themselves. And it also appears that the more we arm society, it is possible that the safer we actually become. So here's what I want to hear from all of you. What do you think? Why do you think the homicide numbers are coming down? Do you think there's even a trend that we should be putting any stock into or is it merely an anomaly? What do you think are the reasons for it coming down? And what do you believe the correlation is between Americans 
more and more commonly arming themselves and the fact that homicide numbers in this country are now beginning to plummet. Go ahead and put your ideas, thoughts, and comments down there in the comment box. In the meantime, if any of you have any questions about this or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights, you guys should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now. But if you don't, that's okay. That information is right down there in the description box. In the meantime, I do want all of you to remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.